Once upon a time in the quaint village of Harmonyville, there lived a mischievous young lad named Oliver. Known for his playful antics and pranks, Oliver often found himself in trouble. One sunny day, as the villagers prepared for the annual harvest festival, Oliver couldn't resist the temptation to spice things up with a twinkle in his eye. Oliver concocted a plan to switch the signs for the pumpkin pie and the hot pepper soup as the festival commenced. Laughter filled the air as unsuspecting villagers took big bites of the unexpectedly spicy pie. Oliver hid behind the bushes, revealing in his mischievous success. However, as the day unfolded, Oliver noticed the chaos his prank had caused. Upset villagers gulped down glasses of water, fanning their mouths, and children pouted with tears streaming down their faces. Deep within, Oliver felt a pang of guilt approaching his friend Lily, whose grandfather had accidentally eaten the spicy pie. Oliver confessed, Lily, I'm so sorry. It was just meant to be a harmless prank. Lily, wiping away her grandfather's tears, replied, Oliver, pranks are meant to bring joy, not hurt others. You need to learn the importance of thinking before acting, realizing the gravity of his actions. Oliver decided to make amends. He volunteered to help clean up the festival and apologized to each villager he had affected. Along the way, he learned valuable lessons about responsibility and empathy. As the sun set on Harmonyville, Oliver gathered the villagers and admitted, I was foolish, and I'm truly sorry. I've learned that our actions have consequences, and it's our duty to make things right. The village forgave Oliver, and he spent the next year demonstrating kindness and thoughtfulness. The following harvest festival was filled with genuine laughter and joy, as Oliver had transformed from a mischievous prankster to a responsible and caring member of the community. The moral of the story, think before you act and consider the consequences of your actions on others. Pranks should bring joy not harm.